Like a GeoOffice, install a Geoid model. This video applies to most releases of Leica GeoOffice. The National Geodetic Survey recently released Geoid 2012, or often referred to as Geoid 12. Uh, this is available through the NGS website, but to load these into Leica GeoOffice, we need to use the Leica variant with the Leica executable so that the Geoid models will operate properly in Leica GeoOffice. Okay, I've gone to my world and downloaded the zip file that contains the necessary files for the Geoid 2012. The ones highlighted on the display here are the files that are contained in that zip, and I've put it onto my uh, uh, local disk in users, public, public documents, LGO, Geoid models. This would be the same place uh, that the Geoid model files are put when we use the America's Wizard. On a Windows X, uh, XP system, it would be under Documents and Settings, All Users, you know, drilling right on down. So, you know, very similar structure. Uh, we'll notice now that we've got the executable file, which when we create the Geoid model in LGO, we'll need. There's the explanatory document, and then the binary files that the data is taken from when we run this in like a GeoOffice. One key difference here is the continental US is in a single file now instead of eight separate files, so it's a little bit more streamlined. Now I've opened up like a GeoOffice and gone into the coordinate system management area. I need to modify a coordinate system or create a coordinate system with the Geoid 12 definitions. Well, I've got a project here that I've been working on in Colorado North NAT83 with Geoid 09, but now that Geoid 12 is available, I'd like to see how it looks with that. So what I'm going to do first is set up the Geoid definition and then attach it to the Colorado North NAT83 uh, defin projection. So initially what I need to do is go to the Geoids area, create a new Geoid, and I'm going to call this Geoid 09, or Ge I'm sorry, uh, Geoid 12. And I'm also going to designate this as GRS80 because we're working with state plane coordinates, so we want the proper definition. The coordinate type is geodetic, and the um, ellipsoid, of course, will be GRS80. Then I just select the path to my geoid12.exe file that we just showed in the previous step and press OK. Um, I could add a, a note or a comment uh, as well, but I really don't, that's an optional field. So once I've done that, I've got it set up so that I can attach that now to the coordinate system. We'll see once it's finished this, uh, completing itself here. We've got this all defined properly. Uh, if I were to look at the properties, of course I'd see what I just had entered, so we're in good shape. So now what I need to do is go back up to my coordinate systems. And in this case, I'm going to select my uh, uh, Colorado North NAT83, and this is one without a geoid model attached. I'm just going to modify it uh, so that I can attach the geoid model. I think I'll change the name in this case to G12, just to stay consistent with the naming that the America's Wizard utilizes. And then I'll go down to the geoid model line and just pick the geoid 12 GRS80 selection that we just created, press OK, and now I'm ready to, uh, I could go to my project, change a coordinate system, and utilize the Geoid 2012. This can be done for any of your coordinate systems. Uh, in a short time, uh, probably in a few months, the America's Wizard will also be updated uh, to accommodate the Geoid 12. But until the next compile of the Wizard, uh, which we're not expecting for a little while yet, this manual method should work out very well for you. As always, if you require more information, check our website at leica-geosystems.com. For support, send an email to survey.support at leicaus.com, or you can make support inquiries and obtain other information from MyWorld. If you haven't registered for MyWorld, we'd recommend that you do so now.